Hi, I thought I would just tell you about the story of how the Lord healed my um, Bell's palsy. Uh, middle of December I developed uh, Bell's palsy. Suddenly I was in a, a, a meeting, I was leading worship and suddenly I um, felt, well I couldn't speak properly and I felt a uh, strange feeling in my face and I realised I couldn't whistle anymore and I couldn't speak properly and so I asked people to pray for me. I thought I was having a stroke and um, my face was starting to get distorted. See the picture I include. And, uh, but then later I realised that it was Bell's palsy, but I trusted God to heal me and I had people pray for me. I said to one guy, I said, when I can whistle again, then you'll know I'm healed. Like this. <whistles> okay, it was a few, um, I asked people to pray for me um, in the church and uh, one lady said to me, she has the, um, the feeling I should try laughing and then God would heal me. Actually after she said that I went to went home and I went to the riverside near where I live and when no I looked around to see if anyone was looking and then I tried to start laughing which was not very easy. It's strange you know the word Bell's palsy is something you cannot say when you have Bell's palsy. You just say it like something like girls gozy you know it's uh, a pretty mean thing about Bell's palsy. But anyway, the uh, Lord also told me to write my test me of how I got healed before I got healed. And uh, anyway, to cut a long story short, I was healed and it's just before Christmas when I needed my voice to sing at um, a dinner for poor people. And I said, Lord, I need my voice to sing, I need my voice to speak, and I want to give a testimony of what you've done for me. And I was healed. It was only just two weeks later after, after it first happened. And also at work, I continued going to work, by the way, and I continued also leading the worship at church, even though it was difficult to sing. I was just you know, looking like Quasimodo. In fact, people thought I was drunk when I was... Very difficult, very funny, and very embarrassing. And I continued to work as well, even though it was embarrassing. And uh, anyway, uh, one day at work, I was in a meeting, and I said, "Now, people, I'm going to demonstrate that I'm healed. So, are you ready?" And then I said, "Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter bought was bitter. So, Betty bought a better bit of butter, better than bitter butter Betty bought before." And then they're looking at me, really. Wow, because I, I said I couldn't say that last week and now I can, so I'm healed. And as you see, my face is normal again. And I really praise Jesus for healing me. Actually, when I was had the problem, he gave me Psalm 43, 5. And he says, why are you cast down in my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance, which means face, and my God. So I just want to give... Jesus the glory for healing my Bell's palsy. I know for some people it takes months or a year to heal, but God healed me straight away. And I encourage you to trust God, trust Jesus to heal you because he is your healer. He says, says in his word, by Jesus' stripes, by his wounds, we are healed. Praise Jesus. Amen.